Welcome to clickmeproject.com. Now we are going to see the paper Automatic Categorization of Questions for User Interactive Question Answering. User Interactive Question Answering is becoming a very popular web based service. Unlike the traditional question answering system, which totally obtain answers automatically, the user interactive QA systems serve as interactive platforms for users to help each other with the human provided answers, which overcome the shortcoming of poor quality of the automatic answers. Some well known user interactive QA systems are serving hundreds of thousands of users' requests each day. With the number of accumulated questions, increases rapidly it is necessary to organize these questions in a good way for users to browse and navigate them more conveniently question categorization which assigns one of the predefined categories to a new question according to the questions topic or content is a technique used for this purpose Users could put their questions into appropriate categories and the system could also effectively organize a large number of questions. In this paper, each question is only assigned with one category even though there may be multiple categories suitable for it. However, manually selecting a suitable category from a long list of categories is time consuming and inconvenient for a user when asking a new question. Hence, an automatic method for question categorization is necessary to save users time and efforts in which some cat candidate categories ranked by their relevancy can be recommended to the user automatically automatically. In the proposed method, we select the important terms extracted from accumulated questions as features to construct a future space. Each category is represented by a vector in a future space. These future vectors only need to be calculated once and loaded into memory for the later categorization task. For each new question, we firstly represent it as an initial word vector using the term frequency weighting method. For the words which directly indicate the information about the question's topic, we give them a higher weight by multiplying their original weight with a coefficient, which is greater than 1. These words are considered to play more important roles in question and can be extracted using the semantic pattern in our user interactive QA system. After that, a word similarity matrix is constructed by calculating word similarity between each word in the question and each word in the future. Then initial question vector is then up mapped into the future space to enrich its semantic uh, representation by multiplying the initial question vector with the word similarity matrix. To categorize a new question, we calculate the similarity between the new question vector and each category vector. The similarity scores are stored in the descending order and the top k ranked categories are suggested to the user. And also, fin finally, we display the corresponding answer to that question. Next, we see the flow diagram. First, we load question category dataset into database. This dataset contains information about question, answers and corresponding category for that question. Then select a particular category to view the corresponding questions and answers to the user. Then we construct the future space for this category questions. In question category data set, we select the important terms extracted from accumulated questions as futures to construct the future space. The accumulated questions have been posted previously and each of them has been manually assigned to one of the predefined categories. We assume that these questions are always uh, correctly assigned. Since a question contains only a few words, we use word level features. Before future selection, stop words and uh, stemmings are removed and the remaining words are stemmed before future selection, stop words and stemming process are completed. The next, we get the question from the user. Then we analyze the question and construct the topic wise identification. Topic wise words in a question are the words which directly indicate the question topic. From the topic wise words, users can easily infer the question category.
we use the semantic pattern to identify the topic wise words in the user question the semantic pattern is mainly composed of five com five components question target type concept event and constraints question target is used to represent the extract information of what the question is asking for question type is used to represent the question of types uh, for example uh, when what and why concept is used to label meaningful noun of questions uh, which is represented by a two level concept hierarchy calculate the topic weight using weighted using term frequency and construct the question vector using topic construction and also weighting the next process is mapping after topic wise wo words identification and weighting the question vector is mapped into the future space then we construct the word similarity matrix between the words in question and all words in the future space after finally we calculate the category weight category weight for each category and uh, categories with the highest scores are suggested to the users in final exact answer for the question is also displayed next we see the running procedure first we open the netbeans then open our project into netbeans then add all jar files into libraries then run dataset.java first select one category to view click view button this is the question and the corresponding answer for this category then click user button enter the question then click after remove this is a software removal process then click future space we construct the future space for each each category click construct button and click ok the construction is processing click ok these are the categories and corresponding future spaces ok then click view all select particular category and click a view button to view the future future space for this category and I click view all we see all uh, category and corresponding future spaces ok then click topic wise waiting this is a user question and I click POS tagging we construct the POS tagging for this particular question then click semantic pattern uh, we convert uh, question into three types there is a question type target and concepts click topic wise words we get only nouns so totally we have three topic words then click question vector first calculate the tf then wait then click vector these are the question vector the, the vector uh, totally have three topics then click similarity we are going to calculate the similarity between uh, each category and the words in the question vector then category weight finally we calculate the category weight each category weight then click display category first we category the rank then uh, click extract category so b is a extract category then click extract answer this is the user question and this is the exact answer for this question thanks for listening